Two presidential candidates remain focused on issues they feel the strongest about. Former President Trump talked about the economy during a trip to the Peach State today, while Vice President Kamala Harris is suggesting a way to make abortion rights federal law. Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. Former President Donald Trump took the stage in Savannah, Georgia, for a speech focused on his tax policy. We're cutting the business tax from 21% to 15%, which makes us the most competitive tax anywhere on the planet, but only for those who make their product in the USA. Trump claims his protectionist policies, putting tariffs on goods coming into the U.S., will help not hurt the economy. We will take in hundreds of billions of dollars into our treasury and use that money to benefit the American citizens, and it will not cause inflation, by the way. The Harris campaign released a statement from more than 400 economists contending Trump's tariffs and plans for mass deportations would cause prices to spike. Vice President Harris is off the campaign trail while President Biden is at the U.N. General Assembly, though she used a radio interview to sharpen her differences between her and Trump over the key issue of abortion. Harris told Wisconsin Public Radio she wants to eliminate the Senate filibuster to bring back abortion rights that existed under Roe v. Wade. 51 votes would be what we need to actually put back in law the protections for reproductive freedom and for the ability of every person and every woman to make decisions about their own body and not have their government tell them what to do. That would also require Democrats hanging on to a Senate majority in the upcoming election. Retiring Senator Joe Manchin, who flipped from being a Democrat to an independent earlier this year, announced he would not endorse Kamala Harris following her call to eliminate the filibuster. Manchin said getting rid of the Senate filibuster would, quote, destroy the country.